and happy Veterans Day, everyone. I'm Jocelyn Summers, and I'm a senior at Liberty North High School. And I'm Kyman Warman, a senior at Liberty High School. Today, we present to you our annual LPS Salute to Veterans Special. As we present this district-wide special to all of our nearly 13,000 students, we wanted to share with all veterans the appreciation we have for them. Today is an incredibly important day as we salute all of those who have served our great country. We also wanted to share with you a few stories related to Veterans Day that include some local ties. Thank you again for joining us and we hope you take the next few minutes to honor the heroes that provide us with the freedoms that we have today. Let's begin today with the Pledge of Allegiance. Several students in classrooms across the district will lead us. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. That was a fun look at some of the different classrooms throughout the district. It's easy to forget that behind the people you see every day are parents dealing with the fears and joys of their children's future in the military. Here at Liberty North, behind this door is one of those parents. Reed Morton was in the first graduating class in 2012, is an active member of the Marines, and his father, Kent Morton, is currently the safety and security officer here at Liberty North. Let's take a look at their story. It's Kent A. Morton, and I'm the internal security officer for Liberty Public Schools. Reed Morton, and I am currently a Department of Defense contractor for the United States. When did Reed become interested in the military? It was early on, and it's always something he wanted to do. The person that impacted me the most to join was my late grandfather, his service in World War II uh, in the Pacific, fighting the Japanese Empire, and him telling his stories of heroism and, and brotherhood and doing the right thing to liberate the world of tyranny, that, that kind of, you know, that, that romantic idea of doing the right thing and being a force for good uh, was always my, my inspiration for doing that. Uh, he was approached by a recruiter of Delta Force. When he told his mother that, she said, absolutely no. But then about six months later, he joined the Marine Corps, which is about the same thing. I was, um, I was a little nervous when I was about to tell him because I didn't, uh, talk to them beforehand uh, that I did this or that I was going to do it. They had no idea. I remembered that ever since I was a little kid, I wanted to be a Marine. So um, I went to the recruiter's office and said, okay, I'll do it. Screw it. And I just signed there on the spot and called my parents and, and told them what, what I had done. Reed was in Iraq and Syria and they were conducting combat operations. He would go silent for two to three weeks. So you're always wondering. The hardest part about being in the military is definitely being away from your family all the time. Um, that's it's like missing events, missing birthdays, missing funerals, missing um, life events that are in your family and your friends. You know, it's things like that that really eat at you for a while. And over time, it, it just kind of grows. The thing I'm most proud about, I think, during the time he was involved in some combat operations and things like that, that he was able to cope with that. And he saw a lot of traumatic events during that time. And he, he coped with it really well. Uh, while on deployment in Syria, we were pushing on the remnants of the last of ISIS. And they were at this point where they were either giving up or they were fighting to the death. The liberation of the Yazidi women was probably the most profound moment when they took off their burqas and they burned them because it was a sign of their submission. And uh, I was there for that and that was pretty powerful and uh, I'll never forget that. I'm so proud of all he has accomplished and thankful for his service and especially with the adversity he dealt with during his deployments. It was certainly interesting to see the different perspectives on Reed's time in the military. It really was. Liberty Public Schools has always shown great pride for their veterans, and that same commitment is carried onto the field with the Liberty Blue Jays varsity football team. The USA uniform, a symbol to our country and to the veterans that defended it. The Liberty Blue Jays go to battle twice a year while wearing these honorable threads. The jersey features a color scheme of blue, silver, and red with silver stars lining the right shoulder pad and red and white stripes fixated along the left. The American flag sits atop the back plate, which pays homage to our country. Below the flag lies the numbers, 
detailed and outlined with smooth accents of red and silver. The jersey is special. I spoke with head coach Chad Fregon on the introduction of the jerseys, what they stand for, and what they mean to the football team. We got them four years ago, and um, we had done them over a two-year plan in that we had bought the white home ones one year and then got the, excuse me, the white away ones one year and then the blue home ones the next year. We had three veterans on our staff at the time, and uh, we thought it was a great way to honor them and all veterans by being able to wear them. Well, we've done that. We've talked a lot about the experience of those and other people that also have, um, you know, family members that are veterans. We have uh, one of our players right now, his father's deployed and in the military and um, numerous other ones that have had experience with that. So um, it does have a deeper meaning to a lot of them, especially since they know our coaches and work with them every day, that, those that are veterans. Well, I think it shows the pride not only in our community, but also just in our country and, and uh, definitely recognizing the sacrifices those players have made. They understand what they stand for and, and um, are proud to wear them. The Blue Jays will usually wear these jerseys twice a year. They wear them on the week of 9-11 and once again during the playoffs. They wore them in their most recent matchup against Columbia Rockbridge in the district playoff game. Currently, the Jays have four coaches on staff that are veterans and many ex-players that are also in the military. We spoke with football coach and veteran John Neldon on how these uniforms honor those who served. What amazes me personally when they wear the American flag jerseys, <clears throat> and I try to explain this to them, that it's, it's more than just a cool looking jersey that the flag actually actually represents something to me. It represents freedom, pride, an opportunity. It also means, you know, you live in the greatest country in the world and you shouldn't take it for granted. And that flag is a symbol of that freedom. I do think they wear them knowing that it means a lot to me and Coach Mater and, and the other veterans that are in the stands. These jerseys certainly have an effect on the people that wear them. Playing with uniforms dedicated to the flag and the people that served is one thing, but playing with honor is another. Those uniforms are amazing. I agree. On and off the field throughout our district, there are Patriots who have served, including Trace Larson, the science teacher here at Liberty High. What is up? Grace Alter here. We've decided to go talk to a few past and present military members. So, without further ado, let's get right into it. My name is Trace Larson, and I teach Earth and Space Science. Um, I was actually part of two different branches of the military. I was with the Army Reserves for five years, and then when I graduated college, I transferred into the Air Force Reserve, where I spent 19 years with the Air Force Reserve. My grandfather had been in the military, and he used to tell me stories all the time, and so that kind of got a little interest going. It allowed me to make really good friends and um, you know, enjoy what I was doing. I loved being part of the Air Force and engineering that I, engineering work I did. I loved doing that. And so um, just being productive, I guess, was one of my goals. <laughs> Thank you so much for all you've done for this country and for serving. We appreciate you. So many teachers in our district have a military background. And a lot of them were in the Army. Do you know the Army fight song? No, I don't, but I bet Zach Klug does. Many of our graduating seniors chose the military for their next steps. We caught up with Zach Klug, a 2020 graduate of Liberty North, to discuss what his service in the military has been like. Dear Zach. Hey, Zach. Hey, Zach. Dear Zach. Hi, Zach. Hey, bud. Hey, Zach. I miss you. I miss you. We miss you. We miss you. We miss you. We miss you. Love Allie. Love Jordan. Love you, bud. Love Taylor. Love Rissy. Love Aunt Carrie. Love little grandma. My name is Private First Class Zach Klug. I'm a 25 Sierra on the tactical side and the uh, Missouri National Guard. I would say the hardest part about being in the military is definitely being away from family. You know, uh, last time I was gone for 10 months, and it was a long, long time, especially, you know, with COVID, how everything shut down. So, um, you know, not being able to see family or friends for that long was a really tough time. What got me through it was definitely my faith. You know, that was something that kept me grounded the whole time, you know, relying on the Lord to help me get through that. But also, you know, uh, I had a lot of family members send me letters and, uh, you know, on the short, maybe couple minute phone calls that we get uh, occasionally on Sundays, you know, that really helped me get through it just to uh, be able to talk to them. But my faith was the main part. So being in the military, you know, something that I've learned is kind of uh, my eyes have been open to the world. You know, you really got to persevere. You know, it's a you're, you're thrown into an adult environment where you got to be an adult all the time. And, you know, that's something you've really just got to persevere and you just got to grow up. So what I've learned is, you know, like how to take care of yourself, you know, and keep that uh, self-discipline. I'm not really sure what's next. There's a lot of stuff circulating around over in the Middle East, but uh, we'll figure that out. But definitely I'm going to nursing school right now. So that's kind of the main focus. 
do solemnly swear that I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States against all enemies, foreign and domestic, that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same, and that I will obey the orders of the President of the United States and the orders of the officers appointed over me according to the regulations in the Uniform Code of Military Justice. So help me God. Sounds like Zach learned a lot at his time in basic training. It seemed like an amazing experience. Thanks for joining us in this district-wide special. Happy Veterans Day from LPS and thank you to all the veterans who served.